In the previous episodes you learned how to use capturing for an automatic creation of installation projects. This demo will help you understand how to tune capturing to filter unwanted changes, and how to manage the capturing results. Let's get started. In order to understand how the filters work, let's open one of the projects with installation capturing results. Good. As you already know from the previous episodes, an installation project may include multiple installations which correspond to the captured processes. Some of those processes don't have anything to do with the captured installation. They are just the processes that were running on the background during the capturing, so they should be removed from the project. In the previous episodes we removed them manually. However, if we are going to perform capturing many times, those unwanted processes will appear in the capturing results over and over again. Is there a way to resolve this problem? MSI Builder offers a very easy solution in form of filters. If we would like to prevent changes, performed by a particular process from appearing in the capturing results, we can point this process in the projects tree. And select the apply monitoring filter option from the context menu. Great! The corresponding installation has been removed from the installation project and the process has been added to the list of filters. We can review all the configured filters through the preferences dialog. If we select Processes Monitoring Filter, we can find the recently added entry there. From this moment on, any changes performed by the process with this name will automatically be filtered from the monitoring results. Thus, there is no need to remove them manually. To disable this filter and to enable it again, we can use the checkbox located in the filter row. Also, every entry can be managed using the context menu or toolbar actions. We can add, remove or modify any filter in the user filter section. It should be noted that there is another section with system filters at the bottom. These filters are pre-configured in the application. You can only disable them, but it's strongly recommended to keep them as they are, unless you have a truly solid reason to disable them. Excellent! Now you know how to use the process filters. You may notice that there are also file system and registry in the list of the monitoring filters. But how do they work? These types of filters can be used to remove a particular file, folder or registry key from the capturing results. When the filter is applied, the corresponding entry is removed automatically from the capturing results of every process. Such filters should be applied if you need to filter out a particular resource. Now let's see how to apply these filters. We can apply them directly, using the monitoring results, like we did to filter processes. When the required resource is selected, we can apply a monitoring filter from the context menu. If we go back to preferences, we can see the specified resource. The file system and registry filters can be managed in the same way as the processes filters. They can be enabled, disabled, added, edited and removed. Great! Now let's learn about the uninstall filters that are represented in the Preferences dialog too. These filters are used to automatically mark resources as permanent, so that they remain on the computer after uninstallation of the MSI package. This kind of features is important to prevent removing of shared resources that can be used by multiple installations. Any resource can be marked as untouched during uninstallation. In order to do this, we can open the Resources Properties and choose the Dot Remove option. We can also select the Auto option. In this case, the resource will become untouched if it's configured in the Uninstall filters. We can add a selected resource to the Uninstall filters using the Context menu option. It's really a time-saving approach. First of all, we can configure the filters once and they will be used by multiple projects. Also, if required, an entire folder can be added to the Uninstall filters at one click, so that its entire contents remains untouched during uninstallation. Now, if we open the filters configuration, we can see the defined uninstall filters represented as user filters. They can be managed in the same way as the monitoring filters. There is nothing new in this respect. Don't be afraid to experiment with filters. If you will want to return to the default configuration, you can simply press this button and the default configuration will be restored. That's all for now. Stay tuned to learn more about MSI Builder.